The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? It does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere. We don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who can win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. Hey, what's going on guys? So this is Junction 2, and so far it's got off to an interesting start. I'm excited to see where it goes. Dr. Sophia Amaral had taken over our Cronon research department after Dr. Kim's accident. She was the only one who could treat the Cronon syndrome. The mansion was an extravagance but it was useful for events like the gala, and it deflected attention from our nearby R&D facility. Mr. Joyce is waiting for us down below. What are these doing here? We should be set up by now. It's all on schedule. You're micromanaging again. Don't even twitch. We should go. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? Just thinking about a road trip I took a long time ago. In a car far less comfortable than this. Let's focus on the issue at hand. Oh. Paul, what should we do about Joyce? I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. Up into the past, I tried to change things. Answer me this question, Bob. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I are well aware, Mr. Joyce, with miscalculation can often come catastrophe. And that leaves me 
But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. I'm not sure that if I choose a business choice, if it will kill Jack. Like, I'm not sure how this game works like that. So I don't want to make a bad choice here. I don't want to kill off my character and have to play as this douchebag for the rest of the game. Although I don't feel like they would kill off the main character. Or maybe I'd have to play as one of the women. And if really personal choice. I mean it is good for the main character. I dunno. Oh it's gonna take me a second. I'm so conflicted. don't want to work with the douchebag that's the other thing I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with business we didn't come this far to get derailed now you talk to him find out what he knows then get rid of him you're all heart money bags I know you want to make this all about you and me Jack but that's far away in the past now and I have a speech to prepare for Seen where this leads. I've been to the end of time and I've escaped it all the way to 1999 when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. See, now that's making me feel like I did make a bad choice, but the choice hath been made. So I'm going to have to move on. So I'm going to end this one here, and uh, I'll catch you guys in Act 3. If there is an Act 3.